Well, hello there, this is Travis, and today we're gonna be talking about my Tesla Solar Electric Bill with Southern California Edison, March 2021. Let's go. All right, well, real quick, um, I do videos on my electric bill and my solar production, so if you wanna see more of that, like and subscribe. Um, this is all part of my video series on not paying for gasoline with an all-electric car and having uh, solar panels with net metering through Southern California Edison so I never pay for electricity again the rest of my life. So this is really about saving money. So if you'd like to see a lot more of that, check out the other videos. All right, well, it's April 13th and it's kind of cloudy out today. So just to show you how many uh, kilowatts you can produce with a 12.24 kilowatt system, I'm producing about 4.94 kilowatts right now and it's almost 11.30 a.m. and I'll show you what the clouds look like outside. All right, some quick specs on my solar system. I live just above San Diego in the Temecula Mirada Valley. Um, my system is 12.24 kilowatts. It is 36 panels at 340 kilowatts. They're Q-cell panels that I got through Tesla. And my panels place, face east-west with my largest array facing west. Before I get started, I wanna say that whenever I talk about kilowatts, it should be kilowatt hours. A lot of times you'll hear me say that and it should be kilowatt hours. If you're getting one kilowatt from your solar system, you need to get that for an entire hour to get a kilowatt hour. So uh, I'll try to be more accurate on that. Kilowatt hours. All right, so let's scroll down here. If we look at the account summary, previous balance is zero. Uh, your new charges are $18.29. There was a bill credit here, and we'll get to that later in the bill. But something really important to understand about Southern California Edison net metering right here, you are billed annually for your energy charges because they can be offset by energy credits over the 12-month billing period. Any charges not offset by credits will become due at the end of your 12-month bill billing period. You also receive a monthly bill. It reflects the minimum amount due each month, which supports the cost of maintenance and operation for providing electricity. So in short, um, my billing period is one year. So we'll do net metering, how much I send to the grid and how much I pull from the grid. And at the end of that year, they'll see what is netted, whether I owe them or they owe me. And I overproduce, so they should be owing me um, some money at the end of the year. And hopefully they'll get a check for that. And I'll show that in my video. The uh, billing period is... 12 months, but inside that um, you have to pay the basic charge connection fee uh, right here where it says you receive a monthly bill. Um, so that basic charge, which basically is being connected to the grid, um, I do have to pay that each month, which is kind of weird because I have a credit, but yet I still have to pay. So it's about, you know, $11, $12 a month that I pay them once a month just to be connected to the grid. And at the end of the year, um, I overproduce, they'll send me a check for how much energy I sent to them, and that will offset that monthly basic charge that I have to pay monthly to them, plus a little bit extra. So I'm following this each month in my video series, and at the end of the year, I'll show the check that they send back to me to see that I don't pay for electricity. <laughs> so it's kind of strange. You pay them, then they pay you back at the end of the year, but it all washes at the end of the year. But we'll check that out at the end of the year bill. All right, let's get back to the Bill here, stay informed about your annual bill. So yeah, it says uh, year new charges due monthly. Um, that's the basic charge. Uh, year to date charges, negative $298.29. Yeah, that looks real good, huh? <laughs> so I'm. this is my third month into my 12 month billing period. So right now I have a credit of 298.29. Right below that it says you do not owe any energy charges as of this month, only make payment for this month's new charges. Keep track of your year-to-date charges as you may have charges in the future. If you are not a net generator, well, I am. If you are a net generator, <laughs> at the end of the 12-month billing period, you may be eligible for surplus compensation. Yes, that's what I'm looking for to offset my basic charge fee that I pay once a month at the end of the year. So I'm guessing that'll be around $200. We'll see what that ends up being um, at the end of the yeah, I, it says 298.29. They don't actually pay you that. Um, they're on your 
my Edison website, it shows uh, how much they pay you per kilowatt. That's like around three cents, four cents. Um, it changes month to month and year to year. So um, they don't pay you that full amount. So you don't really want to oversize your system to get paid from the electric company. I oversize mine because I'm going to be using more electricity in the future. And I got a good deal on it. And I did a video on that if you want to see that. My uh, bill from Tesla for the solar system. So you can check that out. There's a link in the description. But uh, yeah, I'm in month three of 12. And I have a credit of 298.29. So let's scroll down and see what else we got. This is just some generic information that's on every bill, so you can stop and look at that if you want to. But I will scroll down and see what other good information we can find. So right here, it says winter cost period. There is a summer and winter um, cost with Southern California Edison. They have different billing in winter and summer. So we're in winter right now, and it shows my mid-peak, off-peak, and super off-peak hours. Um, the mid-peak, four to nine, that's the real expensive one. So off-peak and super off-peak, those are pretty much the same as far as how much they charge me. Um, it's anywhere from like 24 cents to, I think at the worst time, it's like 44 cents during the summer. But yeah, those are the time of use periods. And right here it says your past current electricity usage. So yeah, I got mid-peak, off-peak. She breaks it all down there. And uh, right below that, it shows my credits. So total electricity usage this month in kilowatts, I sent back 984 kilowatts. So all the energy that my solar panels used to my house, I went directly to my house and anything excess went back to Southern California Edison. So for the entire month, you can see I sent back 984. Now that's a lot of electricity to send back. But again, um, I'm planning on using a lot more electricity in the future. We're going to get a couple more electric cars and we're going to be using the air conditioner more. And uh, this shows also right below that your daily average electricity usage. So last year was 40 kilowatts right around there. And this year it's uh, negative almost 34 kilowatts. So yeah, you can see the last year each month how much I uh, used. And then the last three months um, I had solar panels. So I sent energy back to the grid. I got my solar panels turned on January 7th. So it's going to be pretty much January to December. So beginning of the year to the end. So I'm going to get a good uh, view of everything. And on here it says... Total electricity usage is the system total net generation minus your total consumption. Yeah, how much I pulled from the grid and how much I sent to the grid and the difference is 984. All right, so we'll scroll down a little bit more. Details of your new charges. I am on a time of use plan, so this breaks down my charges. The basic charge is basically the connection fee that you have to be pay to be connected to the grid. And I understand that fee to be connected to the grid. They have to service it and everything. So there has to be a, a basic charge for that. And I do have a care discount at 423 And they gave a California climate credit of $29. They tend to do that. I think they did that last year, once a year. So that's um, a cool credit to get. And then non-bypassable charges. These are basically fees to be connected to the grid. There's so many fees. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so my after all those fees and credits, I uh, have a credit of $18.29. Um, right here under additional information, it says net surplus compensation option, rollover. So rollover means at the end of the year, all your energy credits will roll over into the new year. I do not want them to roll over. I want to um, be paid for those credits at the end of the year and start off new afresh uh, the next year because I know I'm going to overproduce next year again, so I can't use those credits in a rollover. Um, if you weren't going to... Um, overproduce next year, you would want to roll over your credits so that you can use them. It's better to use them because they don't pay you much for those credits at the end of the year. Um, somewhere between three and five cents per kilowatt. So yeah, energy credits are better to use than get paid for because they really don't pay you much for them. But uh, you know, it's better than nothing, I guess. So we'll see at the end of the year how much I get paid. And things to know, these are just some generic uh, things they put on each bill and talks about uh, the climate credit down there. California is fighting climate change, and so you and so can you. <laughs> Your bill includes a climate credit from the state program to cut carbon pollution while also reducing your energy costs. Find out how on their website. There you go. All right, if we scroll down some more, let's see what else we got. Details of your tracked charges. So this just kind of breaks everything down by kilowatt and how much they charge. So you can see all that. And for the month, you can see that they gave me a... Uh, Energy credit uh, in money is $180.31. Again, that's based off of uh, 
not what they pay per kilowatt. So it's not like they're going to give me a check for $180 for the month. Um, it just goes into energy credits, as you can see right here on the right. They have a dollar amount for the energy credit, and then they have how many kilowatts. So the kilowatts are what's important that you have credit with because they pay you per kilowatt, three to five cents per kilowatt. So um, right here, additional information regarding your net consumption. Your year-to-date energy charges total as of the previous month, so I had $117.98 credit so far in money. Your current month of energy charge is $180.31, so everything total for the last three months um, is $298.29 uh, credit in dollars. Um, in kilowatts, that shows uh, 2,057 kilowatts. So it would be better if they showed the money of what they actually pay you right here, but this is the money that they uh, charge me. They, they don't offset it exactly right. So the important number is to look at the year-to-date kilowatts. I've sent back 2,057, so if I cashed out my credits right now, it'd be 2,057 kilowatts times three, four, five cents, depending on what month you cash it out is what they pay you for. So yeah, that's how that works. and things you should know. So this is just some, again, generic information explaining some of the fees and charges and different programs they have. So you can uh, stop and read that if you want to. Well, that was my electric bill for March, 2021. Um, at the first of the month, I'll be doing my solar production video. So if you wanna see more electric bill videos and uh, solar production, like and subscribe. I also have a Tesla referral code in the description. So if you wanna order Tesla solar and get a discount on it or order a Tesla car, and get some free charging miles, go ahead and use my referral code. See you on the next video, take care.